Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my husband. I don't know how much of the rest of this video he'll be in, but he's here in case you see him. Anyway, we're sitting in the car right now and I'm so excited. We're in California. We're on vacation, living our best life, and I'm gonna take you shopping with me to a store. I have been so excited to shop the Plus Bus. They are a resell consignment store that sells just strictly plus sizes. I think they start at size 12 and go up from there. They're based here in LA but they also do online sales too so I've been following them on Instagram and online for a little bit I can't remember who but one of you guys recommended the plus bus to me over on Instagram a few months ago and whoever it was thank you They have a website they do live sales on Instagram and TikTok and whatnot so even if you're not California based or LA based and you want to shop them you can I'm gonna link them below so if you're a plus size person you definitely need to make sure you're following them because they have the best stuff and the thing that's really cool that they do is they don't have like a super Super specific niche so it's not like they're just strictly selling luxury or fast fashion they have anything you could ever want designer fast fashion and everything in between and I'm so excited to shop them in person and yeah try on a bunch of stuff and do a bunch of shopping I'm really excited I've really been looking for more colorful pants and like colorful bottoms we're gonna head over to the plus bus but first a quick word from today's sponsor Today's video is sponsored by Dossier. I've been loving and wearing their fragrances and perfumes for years. More recently, they've come out with some candles and I have absolutely fallen in love. So this candle is one I've been trying for the past like month or so and it is the Aromatic Star Anise. I actually have this fragrance in like a cologne or like spray as well. The best way to describe this is just like a delicious men's deodorant smell. It's definitely like a more what we would think of as like a traditionally masculine smell. I love the cologne and fragrance they have it and so when I saw that they had it in a candle I was super excited. I've tried three of their candles and one thing I love is none of them are super overpowering. You know sometimes you buy a candle and you love the smell but when you light it it's just way too strong and you end up with a headache. With the dossier candles I've never had that issue. The smell is just perfect. It's not too light and it's not too strong. I feel like I'm always struggling to find candles that aren't too strong but that I can actually smell. This month I'm recommending the Aromatic Star Anise but you can check out their website and everything else they have linked in the description box. If you're looking to add more candles to your collection, I definitely recommend these. I've tried three of the four fragrances they have and I've loved all of them. So their website will be linked in the description box. Browse the website, look at the fragrances and the candles. And when you're ready to check out, you can use my code HaleyP10 to get 10% off. Again, I recommend Aromatic Star Anise, especially if you're looking for that masculine men's deodorant smell, but fragrance is super personal. So check out the website and find which scent works best for you. Huge thank you once again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video and now back to the video okay we just got here I just talked to everyone inside they're super nice and they said out front they had a Valentine rack which you guys know I'm obsessed with Valentine's and Valentine's Day in pink and red so we're gonna go through this rack first and then they have a whole wall of dresses in rainbow order which you guys also know I love so we're gonna start here and head inside so let's get going this is super cute it's like a nice hot pink two-piece workout set from Fabletics I think of fun. I'm not really a workout outfit kind of girl, but that is so cute. I feel like the top would fit. I don't think the bottoms would, but that is really fun. These are so cute. Like hot pink shorts. I actually have a pair of hot pink shorts so similar to this. It's in a different fabric. I love this fabric because it's like a nice loose. I'm only going to try on stuff that I know I need to have, and I just have something very similar. Pink leather skirt. That is cute. Should I try this on? What do you think? This is super cute. This has been like my color lately, but again, I have a shirt literally just like this. Okay, this is so cute. This is a vintage dress. Can't tell if it would fit, but we're definitely gonna try it because that is so fun. Okay, now let's head in and we can shop the dress rack and the pants. They had like a whole rack just full of colorful pants, so that's exciting, so let's go in. So we're gonna try it. It's really pretty. You can look fun with this top and shoe combo. I've been looking for this exact 
color of beret online, so I'm definitely getting this. No questions asked, because I've been needing this exact like, aqua blue color, so that's fun. Definitely like, trying these on. These are some purple yeah. eloquy pants, fun. Fun. especially with my shoes today. Ready. This kind of has my name written all over it. I don't know if I need another t-shirt, but that is so cute. This one's also super cute. I don't know if we'll get it, but I'm going to try it because it's really fun. I don't really have any cute cropped t-shirts like this. Got lots of fun options already. All very colorful. This is catching my eye though. I don't know if it'd be my size. New work stress. I'm going to try this one. This skirt is also super cute. I remember wanting it when it came out, but I think it's a little short for me. But I think that's... It's cute. I'm going to try that one too. I like that color and I think they'll look really cute. With the purple pants I have in here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. Just found this super cute wild fable skirt. It's kind of like a kind of like a silky texture. Obviously, it's like a polyester one. But I feel like I need more skirts because I've been wanting skirts more lately, and I just don't have any that match what I'm looking for. So we're gonna try that. It's like a nice kind of like a pastel pink with like a little bit of purple. Love this yellow dress. is so cute. This is totally something I would wear, except for as like a big open spot in the back, which love, but just not for me. Look out, cute doggy. Like a little Disney Beauty and the Beast Hello. moment. <laughs> Lots of fun glasses. I kind of love those. These are really cute too. What do we think? <laughs> maybe a little small on my face, but maybe that's what they're supposed to be. I don't know. Not really a high fashion girly, but these are really cute. I think I have everything I want to try so far, um, including these two pieces that we just found, and then I think everything else is in the dressing room ready for me, so I will head to the dressing room and we can try all this on. Here we are in the dressing room with so many fun things to try on, and the first piece I picked was the New Works dress. I absolutely loved this dress. I feel like the print is super fun. The shape is super fun. It was so good, but just not quite right on me. The chest was fitting true to size, and I do think that this is how it's supposed to fit. Like, I think this was the correct fit for me, but I just didn't love the way it looked. So I went back and forth on this one so many times because I loved the shape and the print, but at the end of the day, I was like, okay, if I'm hesitating, I should probably not buy this dress and leave it for somebody else because it's so cute, but just not quite for me. It was almost perfect, but not quite. Next was this fun little nightgown I tried on. I love buying a vintage nightgown and wearing it as a dress. The pattern on this one was so pretty. The thing I didn't like about it was the neckline. It was just like too wide in the neckline. Next were the purple Eloquy pants. And I was so sad because these were just not my size. If these had been my size, I definitely would have gotten them. They were super comfy, super flowy. They looked good with the top and the shoes I was wearing overall love i'm definitely gonna try to find these exact pants on poshmark because super cute just not quite my size next is this wild fable skirt again i loved it but not enough to buy it it was really pretty i thought the color was cute and the style i do have a light pink kind of like pastel skirt that's a very similar color and shape i decided to leave it there even though this was adorable and if i didn't have a skirt already that looked very similar i probably would have picked this one up this is one i definitely regret not buying i decided not to buy it in the end because i just have so many t-shirts already and didn't feel like I needed to add another one to the collection. But looking back on this video, I definitely should have bought this shirt. Not only was it adorable, it had like the perfect cropped fit and the lettuce sleeves, but it was super soft and comfortable. For some reason, my camera deleted the footage I had of this skirt, so I'm sorry for showing you the phone footage, but this skirt is literally perfect. Again, I was a little bit influenced by the outfit I was wearing because I think it looks so cool with the purple and then the bright orange shoes. It also had pockets and it just like was a super well-constructed garment and everything else I loved but just wasn't quite working out. So I figured it was a sign and I decided to get this skirt because it's just incredible. And that's it for the dressing room try on. After this, I interviewed the owner, Jen, kind of more about the store and her fashion line. So that interview is coming up next. Keep watching. Okay, this is Jen. You're the co-owner of the Plus Bus? Yes, okay. my business partner is with Marcy. We started in 2015 and I'm also a fashion designer and I have a line called You're Too Much that we sell at the Plus Bus exclusively. And this dress is so good. Yeah, I do red carpet events, special occasion and custom. So everything I do is kind of special. And quirky and artistic and just giving fat people more <laughs> opportunity to have designer stuff. Yeah, we all need a lime green like glitter moment i'm obsessed i call it the maryland <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing okay i have to ask because i've always been curious is your closet like 
Do you rotate it super frequent or is it just like always I crazy? I had been a hoarder. <laughs> yes, and me too. I also have so much access. It's like right. being a drug addict free access mm -hmm. and supply all the yeah. time. Um, so, and I also like bring an Ikea bag here every time. Oh, perfect. Which is a spin because I fill it up every time. My closet is so beautiful right now and so precious and I feel like everything is like something that I really wanted to keep. So I did just go through like a whole like purge of everything. Like I got everything out of every corner mm -hmm. and kind of went through every single thing. But um so now it's like curated. Right hoarding. now I just feel like yeah I, I change my style so often that I feel mm -hmm. like it's hard to pinpoint when it's not ever going to be like a static thing. Right. Like it's perfect now. Because your outfit today is so good. I know today I'm like so like <laughs> bad girl bratty and I love yesterday it. I looked like a clown experimenting I love dressing I think you can tell when someone really likes clothes mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, some people collect stamps, but I collect clothes. Right, exactly. <laughs> so you said you started in 2015. Like how, like what was your idea to start it? What happened was I had so much stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was, I became a mother and I was just like, I don't know how to turn, I spent $30,000 that year on clothes. Fast fashion <laughs> right. and things like this. And I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to translate that into an investment for mm -hmm. my daughter. Because at that time, there really was nowhere that you could even trade. Like, Buffalo Exchange wouldn't take your stuff. And even if it was designer, if it was, like, above a 12, it was really hard to resell. Mm -hmm. And so I just had this moment where I posted online. I was like, I'm not buying any clothes this year mm -hmm. at all. Like, And Marcy, my business partner, came on that post and was like, mm -hmm. well, if we have a swap, it's not really oh, fine. Right, true. So <laughs> that kind of started the whole thing. And then we, we rented out a space and we had the first swap. And at the end of the swap, we had eight racks of clothes left. Mm -hmm. And I just really got into it. And I was like, wow, people really love this. They really needed it. We had so many people come that mm -hmm. day. Um, and it just like snowballed from there. We went to the Rose Bowl. We did it once oh, a month that's at so the Rose cool. Bowl. And people would come with, you know, walk a mile in the heat on the asphalt with their bag mm -hmm. of stuff to trade it at the Plus Bus. And so then we just really kind of knew, like, if we build it, they will come right. sort of thing. And we found a little tiny garage space in mm -hmm. our house that we worked out of there for, like, four years. And then we found this place starting yeah, it's so uh, good. 2020 with Perfect. all the quarantine and everything. Mm -hmm. So that people moved out. And so we got the opportunity to be on this really cute shopping district. Yeah. And, we have grown like 4,000 percent. That's awesome. Then, yeah. That's so cool. So people, if people are like local to this area, they can come like sell and consign their um, their yes. stuff. Okay. Um, essentially, we do store credit, so it's more of a trading. Okay. Um, and then, like, if you did have, you know, some of our influencers, we do just like buy all their stuff. Or uh -huh. like Lizzo when she cleans right. Her That's closet, so cool. She just donates all of her clothes here. That's amazing. And um, so we have like partnerships with a lot. Lot of plus size people mm -hmm. we are still one of the only <laughs> trade trades in LA mm -hmm. that really does uh, I say it gives you valuation for your investment plus right. size fashion and I think that's what's different about it too is like finally we can kind of cash in on all these new brands and things that right. we have to try from and online. I, th I think it's really cool too that you have like a mix of everything like designer fast fashion everything in between like every good plus size brand I feel like you can find it here. Yeah I <laughs> find new brands every day too. Mm -hmm. Even I've been in the fashion world for 20 years and almost every single day I hear of a brand here that I didn't know did plus sizes or mm -hmm. didn't know expanded into plus sizes so it is exciting there's so much open space mm -hmm. in the design well awesome thanks for talking to me Hello, I'm back home now with all my fun, colorful finds from the Plus Bus. The shopping experience was great. Everything in the store was so fun. Everyone that worked there was just so nice and so helpful. So unfortunately, I'm back home now in Utah. It was so warm in California. It was like 60, 50 to 60 degrees, and today it's 15 degrees. So I'm suffering, but I have all my fun, colorful finds from the Plus Bus that I'm gonna show you. So let's just get into it. First thing I picked up was this amazing like aqua blue beret. If you follow me on Instagram, 
Instagram, you probably have noticed I have become obsessed with berets. With this haircut, I just feel like they suit me more. So I've been wearing them every other day. I have almost every single rainbow color, but I have a few missing. I have the Roy G. Biv basically down, but now I'm trying to add these more fun pops of color. So when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. I've been looking for this exact color. It was $28 in like mint condition. I love it. I'm excited to wear this all the time. I feel like the bright blue is gonna go with every outfit I own. Next is this really fun J. Crew dress I found. I actually didn't find this in store. The day after we shopped there, they had like a warehouse sale pop up at their other location, their warehouse. And so everything was like $5. And unfortunately I didn't have a ton of time to look through. So this is the only piece that I picked up cause I was short on time, but I absolutely love it. It's this really pretty plaid blue smocked J. Crew dress. So it's got the smocking on the chest and on the straps, which makes it super stretchy, super comfortable. It does have a small stain on the front. I don't know where it is. So hopefully you can see it. I put some like stain remover on it before I washed it, but I didn't really let it soak in and it did fade quite a bit. I'm gonna put some more on it and let it sit for a while and I'm like 95% sure it'll come out, but it is just the cutest dress. I know we're not quite to spring yet. We're kind of a, a long ways away with how cold the weather is, but I feel like this is the perfect spring and summer dress. I love it. Hopefully I'll be able to go to another one of their warehouse sales the next time I'm in California because it was super fun. Next, I got this amazing bright orange button up from Amazon The Drop. I don't know if this is one of their staple pieces or if it was one of their influencer collabs. It doesn't have any like influencer name on it. So I'm assuming this might be one of their staple pieces. I've never actually tried anything from Amazon The Drop. It's oversized on me, but I'm really happy with that. I feel like this will be a great summer button up, especially like to the beach. Like if you just kind of wore this over a swimsuit or something, I don't know. I just think it's really cute. I'm gonna have fun styling it in the spring and summer. And this one was $36. I'm really happy with it. It's like a nice, thicker quality, not sheer. And then last but not least, I got this amazing Mara Hoffman skirt. I'm not gonna lie, when I took it into the dressing room to try it on, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it on. It felt like it was a little out of my price range or what I would normally spend. I'm gonna try it on. I've never tried this brand before. I wanted to try it. It's not, I don't know if you would consider it like a designer brand, but it's definitely more of a high end like luxury brand that's pretty expensive. And when I put it on, I immediately fell in love. Like there was no way I could leave without buying it. It's gorgeous. I don't know if on camera does it justice, but like, have you ever tried on like just a super well-made high quality garment and you can just see like the quality of the fabric, like the cut of it is just amazing. The shape is perfect. The length, everything about it is like so good. So this one is a little bit more expensive, a little bit out of like the range I would ever think I would have spent on something like this, but I feel no buyer's remorse whatsoever because this is going to be a piece that sits in my closet forever. I'm going to wear this so many times. Every once in a while, I will splurge on a piece like this and the pieces that I splurge on are always the ones I wear the most. I looked it up and this skirt originally retails for like $360. So I got a pretty good deal. I got it for 180 and I don't think this was ever really worn. It's in mint condition. I can't go to a store with this many great items and not splurge a little bit. And that's it. That's everything I snagged from the Plus Buzz. I feel like I got a good mix of like everything the store has to offer, accessories, high-end, low-end pieces, everything in between. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm gonna leave all of the Plus Buzz's socials linked in the description box, their Instagram, their website, their TikTok. If you're in LA, definitely go visit them. And if you're not, make sure you go follow them because you can shop so many of their pieces online and they're just so nice and helpful. Huge thank you once again to today's sponsor, Dossier. Their website will be linked in the description box. I highly recommend checking out their candles. That's all I've been burning lately. And when you're ready to check out, you can use my code HaleyP10 for 10% off your order. If you wanna see how I style up the pieces that I got, you can go follow me on Instagram. The link to that will be in the description box. That's where I style up all my thrifted and secondhand finds and you can find lots of fun outfit inspiration over there. But other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.